Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenz hier. This is Hannah Montgomery. Hi. And you're watching Get Germanized Guessing South England slash London Slang. I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get So, I have no idea what uh, London slash South England slang is supposed to be. Uh, today I'm going to find out. Hannah, you are from kind of London? Yes. Kind of. Kind of. Kind I'm of. on the border of London and Surrey. Yeah. And, uh, well, she knows and she'll teach mm -hmm. me. Hopefully. She'll make fun of me, most likely. Yes. And you guys can watch. Great. Let's get started right away. So I thought I'd start you off easy. Hmm. So you're talking out your ass. Talking bullshit. Yeah. Talk so bullshit. you talk out your ass. You're talking out your ass. I heard that before, actually. Yeah, have you? So, yeah, that's, I like that that's one. a good one. Du sprichst aus deinem Arsch would be. Ooh. Yeah, do, we don't say that in German. You should. Slash. Slash. Mm -hmm. Like slash. Not like a slash. Same spelling and word, but. I know the musician. Slash. No. 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 Mm, use it in a sentence, maybe. Going for a slash. A drink. Nope. Kind of. Party. Kind of. Nope. Going for weed? Yes! Really? Yeah. Ooh, and drink. What? what? That is not even close well, to it, drinking. <laughs> well, you I mean, drink and then you need a slash, don't you? That sounded like you want me to drink a slash. No. 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 It's not okay. No, not okay. <laughs> well, for some people it is, but not for us. It's quite... It, it, you wouldn't say that to, like, your mum, though. You wouldn't be like, oh, I'm just going for a slash, mum, or, like, <laughs> your teacher, or whatever. Is it? Is it very rude? It's not rude, it's just really, really, it's slang, it's mm. really slang, so okay. you'd say it to like your friend. Mm. But women, like obviously that kind of stereotype of a woman being very polite and demure, <laughs> uh. you shouldn't say I'm going for a slash. Men say it more. I say it because I'm gross, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's leave it at that. Right, so we've got uh, some Cockney rhyming slang for mm. you now. Okay, whatever that is. <laughs> well, it comes from East London, mm. where the Cockneys are from. The Cocks. Nope. You've just called a load of people cocks. So <laughs> brilliant. Well, I, that sound, like, I saw pubs that are called the cocks, so that, don't don't judge me. That's a cockerel, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. This is scary. No. no. That doesn't rhyme, does it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I don't know, Ruby Murray. Is it Murray. Use, Murray. Yeah. You have to use it in a sentence. Fancy a Ruby Murray today? Bloody Mary. No. Uh, you probably won't get this one. A foot job. <laughs> no. 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 A it's ruby. kind of food. A kind of food? Is it a drink? No, it's a kind of food. Otherwise, I'd have said it's a kind of drink. <laughs> I? I don't know. <laughs> ruby Murray. Yeah. Is it very English? Now, yeah, but it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't originate from England. No. No. A burger. No. I, I could guess all day, but what is it? Curry. Curry? Yeah. Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. Good! <laughs> okay, who came up with that? Like the Cockneys. The Cockneys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, chuffed. Shaft? What? <laughs> chuffed. Chuffed. Sounds like shaft. It does not sound like shaft when you're English. Kind of. Chuffed. Shaft. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> chuffed. Uh, okay, use it in a sentence. I'm really chuffed. Exhausted. Tired. No. Uh, great. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. And good. Chuffed. I'm really chuffed. Tiny. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Blonde. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't mean me. I was just trying to say it more, more emphasis for you. <laughs> oh. I, don't... <laughs> I was chuffed yesterday. Drunk. And I am trying. <laughs> No. I am. No, I'm, I'm chuffed right now. I think you're pretty chuffed. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. You're really bad at this. Yeah, I have no idea. Chuffed. Mm -hmm. Does it rhyme with anything? No, this isn't rhyming slang. Uh, this is just. You are. It's an emotion. Happy. Yes. Oh. I'm really chuffed with something. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. That's a good thing. Happy. Chuffed. 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 I'll remember that for a minute. Yeah, and then it's gone. Mm. Conk. Conk. Mm -hmm. Sentence, please. He's got a large conk. <laughs> what could that mean? Head? Mm, no. No? It's nothing rude, I promise. A penis? That would be rude, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> a large conk? Yeah. Car? No. Nope. Is it a thing or is it a body part? It's a body part. Ass? No. <laughs> He's got a large ass. He's got a large, a large ass. That's what you always say to men, isn't it? 
Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Large nose. Yes. Conk. Yeah. Conk. You say you got your conk. You know, did you do that thing when you were little? Yeah, yeah I got your conk. Yeah, got, got your, got your got nose. Got your conk. Up down the nose and whoop. Boop. And it, it's gone. You ate the nose? Yeah. That's what you do. So that they never can get it back. Brilliant. <laughs> got doing me nutting, but you kind of know what that means now. Yeah, head in. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah, do me head in. Uh, because, yeah, we had a conversation about that before, <laughs> and I thought, like, to nut someone, that sounds kind of rude. <laughs> well, it does mean that as well, but in London, oh, it also means to headbutt. Okay. It's... No, that's not what I thought at no, first. No. no. Earwig. Earwig? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think my friend Emily told me about that before. Oh. Is it, like, um, the song that it gets stuck in your head? That's an earworm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's the difference? Yeah. Earwig? Yeah. I don't know. Um, what is it like? Can you can you use it? Is yes, it? I call him earwigging. Fappen? No. <laughs> I call him earwigging. <laughs> is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's not. It's a bad thing normally. Yeah. Yeah. Stealing. You shouldn't do it. No, not stealing. Not as bad as stealing. An action or is it? Yeah, um... you do it. You do it. You earwig. Ah, is it like listen to a conversation? Yes. Earwig. Yes, that you're not supposed to be listening uh, in on. Okay. So you earwig something. Eavesdrop. I think. Yes, eavesdrop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Earwigging. In proper English. Proper English. So apples and pears. Apples and pears rhymes with bears. Does not mean bears. <laughs> it would be fantastic though. We're just running yeah. out the forest like apples and pears. Rhymes with bears. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Apples and pears. So okay, maybe use it in a sense. Going up the apples and pears that makes it easy. Going up yeah. the street. No, it rhymes with apples <laughs> and pears. Apples and pears street. street. <laughs> Going up the apples and pears. Going up the stairs. Yes. Oh. Stairs. Nice. There you go. Got it. Rosas. What? The Rosas. The races. No. Hmm. The Rosas. The Rosas are coming. Maybe use it in a sentence. I just did. The Rosas are coming. <laughs> Not a proper sentence. I don't know. Look, there's the Rosas. <laughs> what is it like? Is it an object? No, or? it's it's a group, it's a group, of, group people. of people. Yeah. Good people. Bad people. Good people. You'd say some people would say they're not the police. People. Yes. The Rosas. The fuzz. Yeah. The fuzz. Yeah. Both words. Oi! 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 This old policeman, British policeman. Oh, with his truncheon. Oi, 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 oi. I thought you were doing something very different then. <laughs> no. That doesn't. Well. Uh, well, it's kind of up here as well. It's like you wish. <laughs> Ivories. Ivories. What well, mm-hmm. could that be, ivory? Mm-hmm. It's quite logical, this one. Because the thing is made of ivory. Do you know what ivory is? No. Oh, okay. Ephoi, I think. It's a plant. No, that's not the same thing. Ivy is... Ivory is an elephant's tusk. Oh, Elfenbein in German. Um, oh, the Ivory Universities? Ivory? That's Ivy League. Ivy League. <laughs> I'd, oh, yeah, true. It's sure it's different. <laughs> 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 I know so much about this other culture. American culture, American that culture. is. Yeah, true. Tinkle the old ivories. Tinkle? You don't know what tinkle means either. Play. To play the ivories. Uh, oh, now I know. It's mm-hmm. like a clavier, a, pi- yeah, a piano. Yeah, yeah. A piano. Ivories. So someone would say, tinkle the old ivories, and it means to play the piano. Oh, interesting. So the ivories are just the keys. The keys, because okay. they're made of ivory. Got it. Uh, kerfuffle. 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 I heard that before somewhere. It's a right old kerfuffle. Is it good or bad? Bad. Right old kerfuffle. Yeah. Um, disaster? Yeah, essentially, like a mess. Really? Like, that was a kerfuffle, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> okay, yeah, that yeah. was quite easy. That was then. a good one. Uh, knees up. Knees up? Yep. My trainer in this workout program I do always says that. Knees up! Knees up! Knees oh. up. Yeah. But no, no. Not that kind of knees up. Mm. Going for a knees up. Coming to the knees up? Pub? No. Knees Can't, up, pub? You have a knees up in a pub. Really? Mm-hmm. A bar? No. Um, no, no, it's a thing, not a. Uh, a toilet? <laughs> no, it's, it's something you do, not. Like an object. A drink? No. A pint, no? That's an object. Uh, something you do. Yeah, knees up. Coming for a drink? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Essentially, a knees up is a big drink up. Yeah. Yeah. Can be at a pub, can be at a party, just... Interesting. Big old knees up. Know your onions. <sighs> <laughs> know what you do? Yeah, know your stuff. Know your stuff. Yeah, okay. she knows her onions. Why onions? I don't know. Why is it onions? I do not know. Uh, we will never know. We will never know. Numpty. 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 Sentence, please. You're a numpty. Dummy. Yeah, you're an idiot. Because it comes from numb. Numpty. Probably, yeah. I haven't well, really thought about that, but yeah. You're pretty numb. <laughs> I don't know. Numpty. <laughs> right. Paddy. Patty. Paddy. Paddy's pit. 
No, it's Paddy a bar- with a D. Barn Bream. Uh, what? With, with a D. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, the same no, thing. thing. It's a name, Paddy. Yeah, an Irish name normally, yeah. but no. It's a thing as well. You're throwing a paddy. A party? No, stop throwing a paddy. A fit? Yeah, stop. it's a tantrum. Ah, a tantrum. The paddy. Yeah. Really? Why? I don't know. Maybe because it's an Irish name and the Irish are prone to being very rowdy when they drink. That's a stereotype, obviously. But Potentially. Potentially, mm. that's why, yeah. Maybe. Maybe there was just a really annoying kid called Paddy. Oh, poor Paddy. Mm. Mm. Sounds like he threw a lot of tantrums, though. Yeah, must be an <laughs> asshole. This is probably one of my favourites. This is Cockney rhyming slang. Richard the Third. Richard the Third. Yes, who's a king. Bird. Obviously. No. Turd. Yes, you got it really quick. Really? Yeah, Richard the Third is turd. What? Yeah. Oh man, Richard the Third. Do you say it like that? Like you just say, oh, oh no, you just Richard like, the Third. To be fair, that, this one isn't that common. I've never heard this one used in everyday life, mm. but it is Cockney rhyming slang. Who used it initially? The Cockneys. Yeah, but no. <laughs> like what kind of people there? The rich people? Or the no, 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 no. Cockney rhyming slang is not rich. East London mm. is not a rich area. This is like Victorian. It goes on from there, really. Okay. The history of. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And the last one is skint. You probably know that one. Skint. Yeah. Oh, like drunk? No. 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 Skint. He's skint. I'm skint, right? Yeah, I'm I'm skint. I'm always skint. <laughs> uh tired. No. <Nope>. Tiny. <laughs> no. <laughs> Blonde. No. <laughs> Do you wanna know? Yeah. No money. Ah, oh, poor. Mm-hmm. Skint. Skint. Ah, like skint. ah, because it's bare, blah, blah, It's down to the skin, basically. Like you don't have anything else but your skin. Skint. I'm skint. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, interesting words from there an interesting language. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much You're for welcome. teaching me. Now I know. Mm-hmm. Now you know. Mm-hmm. And if you enjoyed it, well, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe to both of our channels. Her channel is linked in the video description as well. And uh, share this video helps out a bunch, actually. So thank you very much. And apart from that. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Stop. There you go.